Welcome back. Let's do some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. This will be good fun. Uh, what opening strategy should I pick today? Also, welcome. We've already got a crowd because it took me a couple minutes to get set up already. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to try either. Oh, it's been a while since I've done third file, Joseki. Central Rook is good fun. I guess we'll aim for that if we have a uh, second player, Gota. Good luck. Oh, we do. Alright, Central File Rook it is. Give him something to think about. Oh, wow. Uh, we have Central File Rook with a... They've played Invincible Castle. Spiffy. Now, the weakness of Invincible Castle is everything. So, just play a normal game of Shogi, and don't lose. That's the plan. <laughs> this, this move indicates fighting spirit. There is tremendous fighting spirit with that move. Um, I wouldn't play that move. Yeah, we'll just build a nice solid castle. Oh, look. Whatever am I going to do, they're aiming at my king. Oh, no. How dreadful. <laughs> All right, we got them to back off a bit. This is delightful. What the hell is this? All right, we'll just push over here. I mean, I know there is a special badge you get for playing Invincible Castle, and I've done it before, but uh, not all Invincible Castles are equally invincible. So for one move, my bishop is not defended. They pick this move to strike, as they should, right? Seems like a sensible timing to do an attack. Um, yeah, in fact, I'm just giving up a pawn. I'm not too concerned. Not all shaken up about it. They have to defend this pawn. And if they can't maintain it, then that's not my problem. What's this move? Hang on. Let's not block my bishop like an idiot. Although, if I do bishop takes, they're going to drop here. Gold takes, I prevail. But pawn takes, if they drop here, uh, I could take and then run away, but then they have a promoted piece in my camp. Let's not do it that way. Let's do it this way. The way that just very clearly is better. So they could promote, or they could drop a piece on the square. Either way, I can take thrice on here, and they don't have three recaptures. Um, is a rook or a bishop better for... I mean, that's a fork. We're not running from the fork. That's a promoted pawn. Promoted pawns have nuisance value. Um... Hmm. Now we've already got the bishop. I don't think I want to give them a rook. But if I do... Regardless which capture I do, they have a really annoying attack afterward. I think this one is marginally less annoying than the other annoying attack. So we see this gold is attacking. So I'm going to run away. And they could take my pawn. Or they could put a pawn blocking their gold, blocking their rook. That is possible. And then I can defend my pawn. And then this pawn is blocking the rook. This gold is blocking the rook. And the gold is blocked by everything here. So they can gain a pawn. Or not. Um... And while we're making those decisions, 
Let's see. I mean, they want another piece to join Nana the attack. Fu. That's why they do that. Um, it's not unreasonable to use your pieces. But what is unreasonable is a lot that's going on here. Um, hmm. How do I completely dominate here? I could hit this point and then use my rook to defend that point. I guess this is my most sensible try. I don't like dropping the bishop in my camp instead of dropping it in the opponent's camp. Because this they could actually defend against. However, um, you know, I could defend this point and then I could defend that point and then their attack runs out. Or I could push the pawn. Why did I just now think that I can push that? Shouldn't that have been obvious earlier? I don't know. Um, so, we push the pawn. If they do nothing, we push it again. That's pretty close, but not the same as nothing. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so if I push it again, they take here. I push it again, they take my bishop, I take their silver, they take back, I drop the silver, and this castle collapses. Uh, do I have better? Probably not. Yeah, let's push. Well, thinking a little bit more about it, if they do take the... Oh, never mind. All these series of captures disappear with that pawn move. Um, Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Go take here. And then try to put my rook on an active square. I mean, there is a proverb about keeping the king and the rook separate, but that sometimes tactics prevail over general ideas. Right, so they block the position again. Hmm. We continue this breakthrough. I'm dividing my castle to do this attack, which is, in general, is a pretty terrible idea. Here, there's probably some specific justification why it's also a terrible idea. Um, but it's not going to stop me. Oh, wow. Well, that's interesting. What's the next move? Um, right. I mean, I've missed some tactics here, for sure. Missed some pretty fundamental tactics. But I was so obsessed with this idea of attacking that maybe these tactics don't quite matter. They can have my bishop. That's fine. I'll be at peace with that notion. So, yeah. Yeah, you blocked my rook. Yeah, you blocked my bishop. I can still attack you.
But yeah, blocking my rook here is quite <laughs> painful, actually. Um, oh, where do I drop it? I actually have a decision. I didn't think I had a decision until I saw this flashing up here. That clued me in that I have another possibility. That said, this is... Uh, this is ugly, but playable. So this square is not controlled. Um, if I can take that square and put drop a silver on it, joining my other silver, which is attacking, then maybe I've got something. So I'm threatening to drop a silver, joining my two other silvers, and some kind of amazing fork. There's the fork. Incredibly, they took with the gold general, which seems a bit unnecessary, and I was about to remark how profoundly dangerous taking that looks. Um, but now we'll find out. Just, like, my back of the envelope sort of estimation is anywhere near correct. Um, hmm. I'm annoyed that I have a choice to Tom take boom. this or not to take it. I think I have to take it. I don't think I have enough pieces for my attack to prevail without this, so we're taking it. Mm -hmm. And then we're going back. Mm -hmm. Nifun Sanjubio. Promote. Undiscouraged. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of discouragement going on, but we're going to pretend there's not. Mm hmm. Another piece for the fire? How generous. Um, hmm, what are they doing? Nifun. I think that's the right move. Hmm. I thought I'd have a pawn in hand by now. Hmm. Sucks. And there's the pawn in hand.
1分うん。That doesn't work, does it? It doesn't matter. 三十秒。None of my moves matter here. The opponent has their agenda set, and they don't care what I play. Doesn't matter how many times I blunder, they don't care. This is so bad. Thanks for the game. Zikangide. That's game one down, two to go. So you get to one down by attacking well and defending well. I have much to learn about attacking. Good luck. Hmm. Let's try this. I think we're having two conversations here. Pretty sure we're having two conversations here. Hmm, how do I conduct this attack? Like this, I suppose? I do. I got lots of pieces attacking. 
Hmm. Let's just go for it. How bad can this be? Feels like we're having two conversations. So if I've taken the lance, I think then my attack dies. I think here, however, my attack um, continues. And yes, they could try somehow to defend this file. Um, They'd need to put something in the corner. And I mean, they've already barred the exit, so I could drop a bishop and then take the knight. Yeah, or they could run. Rather, they could attempt to run. That's pretty cool. Okay, make sure to promote the pawn in this next move. Uh, it would be sad to accidentally not promote the pawn after they take the bishop. Thanks for that. Alright, two down, one to go. Let's do it. Good luck. I... there was some text below that... Uh, below their win record that indicates what their preferred opening is. I had challenges reading that text that just flashed on screen there. Um, so I guess we'll find out the hard way, whatever the heck that strategy is. My guess it looked like a bear in the whole castle thing, so maybe it's a, some variation on I don't know what. Right, so I could take the bishop here and then redrop it, and that'd be kind of fun. I've done that before. Let's do it again. You know, I've done this before. I'm quite fine playing this, quote, inferior. Um, so, yeah, I think this is a-okay. People don't recommend it, but I think it's fine. As long as I don't lose my bishop, and I don't think I'm losing the bishop here. Uh, I don't see an issue. It's true I've not pushed the pawn to 5-5 yet, but I think I can survive without that. Uh, also, if this diagonal opens up, just imagine the things we could do. So, are they going to move this back, or are they bring up the knight, or somehow otherwise constrain so I can't like sack the pawn here? Um, otherwise, the pawn sack looks kind of cute. 
Silver 5-5 five five looks fun. Silver 5-5 five five takes pawn there. And I like overexert it. Hmm. Oh, if this silver takes though, I'm out of tactics. Um hmm. man. I just want to be able to take that consequence free. That'd be so nice. It's not the reality here though. A one down opponent wouldn't fall into a trap like that. So let's just defend my center. This gives them time to oh my gosh. Well then. Thank you, sir. May I please have another? Um. Okay. What's the point? You do have a point when you're sacrificing that, right? Hmm? You're saying it's not a sacrifice. I guess. This... All of this to me seems a bit incredible. Um... I guess I've broken up my castle. How can I talk about what the opponent's done? I should deal with my own issues first. Oh, I don't have a bishop in hand. I'm like, I'll just drop the bishop here. It'd be amazing. I don't have a bishop to drop. Um, let's just rebuild my castle so I don't die the worst death ever. And this is fine. Yeah, it's scary, but it's fine. Take that. And then confront the rook. If the rook goes back, we have a fork. If it goes back here, I don't know. I still push this. Maybe I bring my rook over to confront it a different way. Maybe I bring the knight out, but I don't think so. Moving the knight tends to be a waste of time. Oh, they do have a silver drop. They're threatening a fork back here, which I kind of ignored. Uh, but now I can't completely ignore it anymore. Um, hmm. What do we do about the fork? Nanafun. Okay, well, we hear that silvers on the fifth row are best, or the, that's the best place to put the silver. Therefore, I don't want the opponent to have their silver in the best place. So we're going to confront this immediately before it becomes a serious problem. I'm assuming it's not going to move up, but it would retreat, and it does. So that's not going to be a problem. Still, the silver drop back here could be a problem if I don't do anything about it. Um, hmm, this is uncomfortable. Well, I mean, why should Shogi be about comfort? Hmm, I have a silver and a bishop. Hopefully I've not missed something critical. If they drop a silver here, I confront this rook, and we exchange my gold for the silver. Unless I have something better. And maybe I do. Um, like, if they drop here, maybe the gold moves, the silver takes the knight, and then I confront the rook. And I could take a silver for a knight instead of for a gold. 
Or maybe I move the gold over this way and they drop the bishop and stuff gets insane. I don't know. Oh, they're actually defending. All right, well, well that gives us one move, one moment to breathe. Um, so breathe we shall. So much fresh air. No. Oh, joy. What do I do next? That looks interesting for so many reasons. Um, my position is sketchy. I could have pushed Nothing. my center pawn. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I'm just going to take this. And we're going to pursue this rook. And okay, you have two bishops you can drop. I don't know that either one of them is excellent. And I think I do control tons of squares here. And I'm bullying the rook a bit. So... Um, maybe I missed something. Maybe I just hung my silver. I just hung my silver. Uh, it's fine. We can save it. But this is kind of a mess. Um, which piece? I think this one chases the rook. So I saw some shape vaguely like this would occur. Maybe not this particular shape, but... Uh, this is not what I envisioned. Oh dear. Well, let's try to dig ourselves out of this ridiculous hole. The knight's going to try to join the attack, and so I'm in trouble. I had to use this gold to rescue the knight. It's interesting. We'll continue running. Oh shit, that's a fork. Mm hmm. Hmm. Fine. You get all of my pieces. I walked right into that fork. And I did. Hmm. How do I deal with this rook? Th 
三分。I think this is a reasonable way to deal with their rook. This is going to be a very, very difficult attack for me to pull off. Um, I do see if the rook moves, I have a pawn drop. So there's that. Maybe this knight advance was a bit anxious, and maybe escaping this gold first would have made more sense. Moving the rook over there loses a move, but does force me to drop my pawn. But, like, this is a bit silly. I have no attack, and very little defense. What can I possibly do? I don't know. I assume I need that somehow to shore up my position. But at the same time, oh, they can just drop. Oh, they don't have a second rook. Never mind. If they had a second rook, this would be over already. Um. I'll try to attack. Try not to laugh too hard at my attacking attempts. Shit, that's a good move. Oh, joy. Um... Yeah, that night drop is a very good attacking move. My king has no escape from this incredible net that they've made. Like, I don't even have anything even close to resembling an escape hatch. I have no attack and no defense. It's, I'm quite impressed by the spectacular run. So, this is some... Extremely vain attempt. Um, all right. Oh, my goodness. All right. Thanks for the game. Very well played. Dang. That hurts. All right. Well, we tried. Uh, we got a lot to learn, obviously, but. Try not to get too discouraged by that. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.